normally what I do if I don't have to worry too much about where I'm orienting the project is I'll just group around the words and see what I can make of it. I've taken images from my personal experiences and from found imagery and I've combined them together and then used my style in the end. It was nice to do whatever I wanted and not have to explain it so much. Being able to have more creativity because there's less boundaries in the work and I've been able to experiment with more of an abstract style. I've been working with Mercerly for quite a while and I want to push my portfolio. This project, I could do whatever I wanted, I wasn't restricted at all. I assumed it was some sort of metaphor. Instead of sort of searching for the meaning, I decided to go with the flow and, and try to find a, a figurative interpretation for it. It's really important that a bra fits properly and many women wear the incorrect size. The first thing that would start off when we're looking at design of a bra is the wires need to sit quite close to your chest bone. If they are riding up and not sitting against the chest and you're not contained within the bra, then you're not getting support. I think I figured out what the brief was about, so I wanted it to be quite feminine and as I do fashion illustration anyway, it was right up my alley. I discussed it a lot and I thought it could also mean like a celebration as in raising the glasses. So I wanted it to be quite feminine and almost the paint splashes to represent something quite celebratory. Another sign that women often make the mistake of doing is hiking up their shoulder straps to lift the bust. That will mean that the straps will dig into the shoulders. I assumed it was some sort of metaphor. Instead of sort of searching for the meaning, I decided to go with the flow and and try to find a, a figurative interpretation for it, which is what I tend to do in general in my work. I always try to have some sort of humour. Well, I try not to be crass, but I like to be borderline cheeky, which I think is quite a, a playful and engaging way to interact with the viewer, or for them something graphic and hopefully striking enough to catch their attention. Probably the sign that I see more often than not of a bra fitting incorrectly is what we'd call double busting or kind of full boob effect. The cup is just too small and the bust is overflowing on the cup and that means that you need a bigger cup size. I started piling the cups on top of each other and then I thought, oh, how can I work with this? And that's when I started creating a narrative around the cups with the Mad Hatter hat. I started bringing Alice in Wonderland into the picture and the nature around the cups, so it's sort of in a forest. That and Alice in Wonderland sort of feed it together into these cups. Most common problems I see, apart from overflowing cups, is the band not fitting properly around the body. So a good fitting bra should fit straight around the whole of the body. It should be flat across the back. And what you'll often see is the band riding up, which actually means it's too loose. I mean, the first thing I was thinking was some elastic bands riding horses backwards. But then I was thinking like a miniature band. Eventually I came to the image I'm doing at the moment, which is basically a bunch of guys in a band riding on this weird machine and they're going to be going up the back. Whenever I do corporate stuff, I try and make it a bit abstract anyway but for someone to offer you the opportunity to be able to make it completely bizarre. It is kind of liberating, especially with someone backing you. The opposite of a cup overflowing is not being filled properly. If the bra size and cup size is too big and the bus doesn't fill it, you may get a bumpy appearance. I got given the cups are bumpy. I thought about how I use tea and I use cups. When I drive to the studio, I always take my breakfast with me in the car. So I've got my tea cup in between my legs when I'm driving, I'm drinking my tea on the way on my journey and it's always quite hard to, you know, <laughs> drive and drink. <laughs> and so I thought I'd combine that with a cool image I saw the other day of two girls driving on their moped with massive hills on. So I'm taking these two girls and they're going to be driving along, going over bumps, drinking tea. The brief has totally allowed me to break away from corporate guidance. It's very free. It allows me to be very creative and be able to put my own input into the work.